Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. So this is going to be a very short video on the politics of what's going on in Texas. So as you, some of you know, uh, Pelosi is throwing the governor on the bus and that asshole AOC who has no business opening her mouth, she's, uh, she's throwing the governor on the bus. She's talking about why the, how come the power grid system isn't part of the whole federal program, why they're doing it on their own. She's running her mouth. Now, I understand why Texas is running their own power grid system. Uh, this is the name of their company, by the way. Uh, the company that runs Texas and some of Mexico, northern part of Mexico, the same uh, power company. So I understand why they want to be on their own. But this needs to be a lesson to Texas. They need to fortify their infrastructure because it wasn't fortified. To their, um, I guess to their credit, they never had anything like this, and they never had anything happen this long. The cold weather, I mean. They never had the cold weather happen this long. So now, of course, politicians are trying to make this about a political thing. I noticed that I don't hear anything out of Biden as of right now, and it's uh, 1134 on a Thursday night. Biden hasn't said shit so far, from what I've known. So leave it to a Democrat not to protect a Republican, or at least tell a Republican, hey, what do you need? This is the uh, political side of it right now. And it's coming out and it's showing itself. I mean, listen, Biden might be fucking playing Parcheesi or Pinochle, whatever the fuck old people play. But nonetheless, he's not coming to Texas rescue. He's not saying anything to him as of right now. He should have said something to them two days ago. But he didn't. Pelosi is saying, well, why are you guys ain't doing this? Why are you guys ain't doing that? And, and AOC, well, how come you, you're not part of the, the, the federal uh, power program? Now is not the time in the middle of a crisis that's turning into a fucking disaster, into a disaster, with another storm headed this way. Now is not the time to sit there and play woulda, coulda, shouldas, and the blame game. That shit comes later. As of right now, the only thing coming out of Pelosi's mouth should be, what do you need? The only thing coming out of Biden's mouth is, what do you need? But you see, they're playing the political game out in the open with everyone's lives. The Texas uh, governor is trying to do his be best thing. His name is Abbott. He's trying to do his best right now with what he has. But if he got some support, he wouldn't have to be struggling. Again, Democrats are turning into the enemy of this country. And I hate to say that, but they are definitely working my last nerve with their bullshit. Instead of just stepping in like as of right now, it could have been New York City that this was happening to him. And if Trump was still president, he'd be like, what do you guys need? He would be like, I hate this dude, but I'm still going to help him because that's what presidents do. Biden is not a president. We all know this. And he's showing his true colors right now. Now, is he going to say something tomorrow morning? He might. That's five days too late, motherfucker. He should have fucking said it. Actually, he should have said it on the first day. Holy shit, they got hit how hard? They can't recover. You know what? We're going to help him. We're going to send him this, that, and the third. But he ain't saying shit. Pelosi needs to die of a heart attack. AOC needs to fucking go to school and learn how to count from 1 to 10 in her ABCs. Because that bitch doesn't belong in this fucking arena. And I, I wish if New York City wasn't such a, uh, a democratic shithole, I would absolutely throw my hat in the ring to run against her just to fucking destroy her on facts. Just to make her look like a clown. I think that's the only reason why I'd run again. To make her look like a clown. Um... But this is what happens. When idiots vote for idiots, you get idiots to represent you. AOC. So, again, guys, Texas is going through enough shit. People are dying. A lot of people are actually dying in car accidents. I know my last video uh, on the Angry Prepper channel, I said that people died of carbon monoxide and all those other things. But people did die of... Um, most of the people did die from car accidents. And everyone died of, like, misfortune, stupid mistakes. Um, in some cases, just being outright stupid. Uh, so it, it it sucks. People are like, oh, well, you're heartless. Well, listen, I'll be heartless. Like I said before my live stream uh, last night, and I'll say it again, stupid doesn't live here. And you guys have to be smart about protecting your families. Whoever you are, most of you are not. But whoever you are who are making bad decisions that are going to kill your family, you need to smarten the fuck up. Uh, I live in the city, and there's a lot of things that I know about like suburban life that a city guy should know. But nonetheless, I just know maybe because the guys in my firehouse I talk to, they talk about it and I listen. 
think I'm not listening, but I'm listening. And there are other things that if I'm not sure, I'm going to be like, I don't fucking know, man. You know what? I'm going to ask a question. Ask a question. That's what your neighbors are for, right? Whether the question is stupid, you still ask the stupid question and get ridiculed. But guess what? You'll be alive. So for anyone who's about to make a poor decision, ask your neighbor before you make that decision. If, it, and if, this, if the decision doesn't seem right, don't do it. Um, I know that people are desperate and they're in a bind right now. And they're fucking jammed up and it seems like no one's coming to the rescue. You had that asshole Ted Cruz going to fucking Cancun or some shit. Motherfucker, you go down with the ship. You're the representative of Texas. Every representative of Texas or whatever state's being affected needs to be at that state. You go down with the fucking boat. You don't say, oh shit, it's cold here. I'm going to go to fucking Cancun and go right to fucking Mexico. Fucking kidding me? Anyway. Politicians are rascals, and we're seeing it. You got AOC opening her mouth. You got fucking Pelosi doing her crypt keeper thing with her finger, and then you got fucking Ted Cruz taking a fucking ride to, to Cancun because he wants to get away from the cold. And he apologized for it. He apologized for still stupidity, guys. These fucking politicians are just plain out stupid. And people are like, well, Ted Cruz can make mistakes. No, no. You cannot have the Democrats fucking motherfucker in your state and then you do that. You always got to fucking look better than the fucking opposition, guys. Always look better than the opposition. Anyway, because the fucking Democrats are politicizing this fucking natural catastrophe, it wasn't like Texas said, hey, guys, let's freeze our equipment and fuck shit up. Leave it to the Democrats to blame the governor for a fucking fluke of a weather season fluke uh, a disaster of a weather season there's a lot of disasters that are going to come out of this that we are going to start seeing as a nation is why they should be helping and not pointing fingers because the shit that's coming down the pipe from this uh from this crisis if you will is going to affect the entire country as a whole not just fucking texas all right guys so this is the angry prepper thank you for watching like and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on the Angry Prepper channel. And other than that, guys, thank you for watching.